In this video, I'm going to show you how you can analyze your competitors' PPC ads. For those who don't know, PPC stands for pay per click. So those are basically the ads that you see, for example, when you search something on Google. And whenever you click on the ad, the company is actually paying for that click. That's how companies are driving traffic to their websites. You are going to be using ChatGPT plugin for this. I have a full playlist, including many ChatGPT plugins. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to link it down below. Also, if you're interested in tech and AI, definitely subscribe down below. I post every single week. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is that you want to go to GPT-4 and you want to click on plugins. You will see that you have uh, this drop down menu here. So you want to click on that. And as you can see, I already have some plugins installed. In this video, we are going to be using a ChatGPT plugin called Competitor PPC Ads. If we look at the description, you can see that this plugin lets us discover our competitors best PPC ads by entering their website address. Want to know how to install it? You simply go to plugin store, you click on all, and unfortunately they still don't have any search bar here. So you will have to browse through the pages until you find a plugin called competitor PPC ads. When you hit on the green install button, you then go here and you simply just hit this check mark. This one is going to enable it for this current chat so we can use it. The first thing I always love to do with these plugins is to ask ChatGPT what this plugin actually does. ChatGPT has the knowledge about all the plugins within the ChatGPT plugin store. So here you can see that the plugin is designed to retrieve the latest pay-per-click PPC ad history of a specific domain. This can be useful for businesses and marketers who want to understand their competitors' advertising strategies. Here's a brief explanation of the main function, get optimized ad history, the function retrieves the most recent PPC ad history for a given domain. It requires the domain name as an input and returns the data about the ads that have been run by that domain. This data can include information like the ad copy, keywords targeted, duration of the ad campaign, and more. This plugin can be a valuable tool for competitive analysis and strategic planning in digital marketing. All right, so for the sake of this video, we are going to be analyzing Zapier's PPC ads which for those who don't know, Zapier is actually a very famous automation software that can automate for you a lot of tasks. So here, the first prompt that we write down is please analyze the PPC ads of Zapier.com. We are going to send this. You can see that this plugin has automatically started to be used in this chat without us even mentioning it. And that is because this plugin is the only plugin that is enabled in this current chat and we got the result. So here, let's have a look at that. Zapiers.com PPC ad strategy seems to be focused on a few key areas based on the ad history. Time saving, almost all of their ads highlight the time saving aspect of using their service. They frequently mention that people who set up a Zap save on average of four hours their first week. This is a strong value proposition that likely resonates with their target audience who are looking for efficiency and productivity. Here you immediately got a very good differentiator of your main competitor. If you are competing, for example, with Zapier, this can be a very valuable information for you. Ease of use. Another common theme across their ads is the ease of use of their platform. They emphasize that their service allows users to automate processes without a developer and that no coding is required. This is likely aimed at non-technical users who want to automate tasks but don't have the coding skills to do so. You can also get more information about what they are highlighting in terms of pricing in their PPC ads. They have specific ads targeting the keyword Zapier pricing, where they highlight their flexible plans and the ability to view pricing details. This suggests that they are trying to attract users who are actively comparing automation tools and are interested in the cost. Now, another very, very good point for you if you are a marketer and if you're competing with Zapier. Integration, Zapier also targets keywords related to specific integration like Facebook lead ads integration and form builder. This suggests that they are trying to attract users who are looking for specific solutions like automating their Facebook lead ads or connecting their form builder apps. Here you actually get a very good pain point of the consumers. So it looks like the main pain point for consumers is that they are struggling with connecting different apps together especially Facebook and other builder apps. Trust and scale. Some ads mention that they are used by 1.8 million individuals and businesses and that they offer 99.99% uptime. This is likely aimed at building trust and demonstrating their scale and reliability. 
And then at the end, we also get a summary, which is very helpful. Overall, Zapier's PPCN strategy seems to be well aligned with their value proposition and targeted at their ideal customers. They are focusing on the benefits of their service, time saving and ease of use, while also addressing potential concerns such as pricing and specific integrations. The second prompt that you can use with this plugin and it's going to be very helpful for you to analyze the competitive environment in the industry is what are the latest PPC ads for Zapier.com, Make.com and Integrately.com. Here, what I did was that I put two other competitors that are competing with Zapier. So I would get even more data about all the PPC ads that they are currently running. So this can give me an idea about what PPC ads currently are run in the industry. And so if I decide to enter this market, I can get value information about the PPC ads so we are going to send this you can also of course ask a chat GPT to give you the list of competitors and then you can use them I did this manually I found the competitors on Google because I just wanted to save the number of messages that I have with ChatGPT. As you know, you can only send 25 messages in three hours using ChatGPT4. So here, just to save the attempts and the messages, I just did this manually and wrote down the two main competitors of Zapier. And here we got it. So you can see that the plugin has been used uh, three times. So the first time it was used for zapier.com, the second time it was used for make.com, and then for the third time, it was used for integrated.com. Here are the latest PPC ads of zapier.com, make.com and integrated.com. Zapier.com, Zapier official website, people who set up a zap save on average four hours, get started for free, automate processes without a developer. And third, zapier.com, get started for free, join the 1.8 million individuals and businesses using Zapier. Simple pricing, view pricing details make.com which is their main competitor i would say the first ad start for free today no coding experience required so here they're highlighting that you don't need to have a coding experience if you want to use this don't let your platform limit your automation potential start for free today here they're highlighting that they offer something called freemium more advanced features and faster execution and the third one get started for free again highlighting the freemium advanced from one-to-one -one tasks the second competitor of zapier is integrated.com and here you can see that as of the latest data there are no ppc ads available for integrated.com this could mean that they are not currently running any ppc campaigns or the data is not available at this time so here i wanted to also show you that you don't get the answer 100% for each of the website. It really depends on what the plugin can actually access. All right, so here is the third prompt that you can use with this plugin. I wrote down, please analyze appear.com and make.com PPC ads. Look specifically for their messaging and what they are trying to communicate to potential customers. Also compare these two companies, including similarities, but also where they differ in the messaging. Recommend what is better if you want to enter this market. So here, this is a very comprehensive analysis that you are actually going to see that this plugin can do. And honestly, this is very valuable information for you, either if you are currently in this market or if you are thinking about entering the market. So I'm gonna hit send. All right, it's done. And here you can see how much text we actually got as an answer. So let's just quickly go through it. So the first one is Zapier's PPC ads focus on a few key messages, time saving, ease of use, trust and scale. And then it also tries to explain more about each of uh, these ones. So let's take ease of use. Zapier highlights that their service allows users to automate processes without need of developer or coding skills. This is likely aimed at non-technical users who want to automate tasks but lack the necessary coding skills. The second one is make.com PPC ads analysis. Here you can see that their three key messages are no coding experience required, real-time workflows, and outgrowing simple bots. So let's have a look at real-time workflows. Make.com highlights the ability to build real-time workflows, suggesting they offer a more advanced and dynamic automation solution. And the next one, outgrowing simple bots. And now this is interesting. Make.com seems to be targeting users who have outgrown simpler automation solutions and are looking for something more robust and capable. So here you also get an idea that 
they are most likely also targeting the people or the companies that have been using some automation systems and softwares before, but they got to the point where they've grown so much that they are right now looking for more advanced options. And then we also get the comparison and recommendations. So both Zapier and make.com emphasize ease of use and the ability to automate processes without coding skill. However, their messaging differs in few key areas time saving versus advanced features. Zapier focuses on the time saving benefits of their service, while make.com emphasizes their advanced features and real time workflows, trust and scale versus upgrading. Zapier uses their large user base to build trust and demonstrate their scale, while make.com seems to be targeting users who are looking to upgrade similar automation solutions. And here is the last part, which is actually the most valuable. If you remember, I asked in the prompt how it would look like if I'm going to enter this market. So here it says, if you are looking to enter this market, consider the following value proposition, trust and scale, targeting upgraders. So both time saving and advanced features are compelling value propositions. Consider your target audience and what they value the most. If there are no technical users looking for efficiency, focus on time saving and ease of use could be effective. If there are more advanced users looking for powerful automation capabilities, highlighting advanced features and real-time workflows could be more appealing. The second one is trust and scale. Demonstrating trust and scale like Zapier does can be effective in building credibility and attracting larger businesses. And the third one, targeting upgraders. Make.com's strategy of targeting users who are outgrowing simpler solutions could be effective if there is a significant number of such users in the market. This could position your service as a more advanced and capable solution. So here you not only get the analysis of the PPC ads, but you can then also customize the prompts in a ways where you can actually get so much more value out of it. Here's another prompt that you can use right now based on the keywords in this industry using the PPC ads plugin. Can you come up with PPC ads for my business named automate that task? Please take into consideration all of the findings from all the analysis in this chat. So here I'm trying to use this valuable information that uh, it came up with and I'm going to use it to create PPC ads for my hypothetical business called automate the task. And just like that, we got the answer. Sure, based on the analysis of zapier.com and make.com PPC ads, here are some PPC ad suggestions for your business automate the task. Keyword, automate the task. Title, automate the task. Official site, save time, automate more. Buddy, automate your tasks today. Workflow automation for teams of all sizes. The second keyword, task automation. Automate your task, no coding required. Buddy, Join the thousands of individuals and businesses using automate the task. Try for free today. The third keyword, automate the task pricing. Title, affordable automation. Check our pricing, automate the task. Buddy, automate your task without breaking the bank. Fourth keyword, no code automation. Buddy, don't let your platform limit your automation potential. Build more, faster with automate the task. And the fifth keyword, real-time workflows. Title, real-time workflows. No way to automate the task. Buddy, build more faster with automate the task, execute more tasks in real time, zero weight. These ads emphasize the time-saving benefits, ease of use, affordability, and advanced features of your service, which are all key selling points based on the analysis of Zapier.com and Make.com's PPC ads. So here you can see that you can also take the findings based on the analysis that the plugin performed. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're interested in tech and AI, definitely subscribe down below. I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.